Whenever we buy something, we are always faced with the same dilemma. What should be more important, cost or quality? The rice has impurities and weight wrong. I will make hefty profits. This is premium rice and contains no impurities. The banya may give you the rice at lower cost, but it may have impurities, lower quality or maybe lesser in quantity. Similar dilemma is faced by investors while picking stocks. What should be given more priority? Quality of the stocks or its cost? Obviously, quality stocks are more reliable and predictable compared to cheap stocks. Let us look at what factors you need to look at to judge the quality of a stock. Start with the promoters as they are the building blocks of any company. Check the background of the promoters. How committed are they to the business objectives? Do they have a proper vision of what to become in the long term? Next step is to check the management. Integrity of the top management should be priority. What is the qualification and experience of the top management? For example, Tata Group is the largest group companies in India and is well known for its promoter, Mr. Ratan Tata. He is successfully running multiple businesses and is known for his commitment. Also, all the Tata Group companies are very well positioned in their respective industries. Next, check the strength of the company's business. Check the product positioning of the company. Check what is the price level at which company sells its products. In which all channels does the company have presence? The best example for this is Apple. Apple is one of the most valuable companies in the world and it mainly derives its strength from its products which are the most loved and even though the company demands high price, the customers are willing to pay for it. Also, they have great presence in both physical as well as digital channels of distribution. The next step is to know who the company competes with, that is, the industry structure. Look at the competitor's positioning. Check the business model of competitors. Who has more power, buyers or sellers? The best example for this is Google. There is no other company that can compete with them. Their business model is very unique and difficult to replicate. Also, Google dominates the digital marketing space. They have a higher bargaining power when it comes to online advertising. The last but the most important criteria is the quality of the financials of the company. Look at the company's valuation. Look at their growth rate. Look at the accuracy of their financial results. Then, look at their profit margins. Then finally, look at the debt levels. Infosys is the example that best illustrates this quality. They have zero debt and are among the big four in the Indian IT sector and also are known for their ethical financial practices. It may seem difficult to answer the questions about the business of a company and its promoter, but in essence, you need to find the answers to just two simple questions. A. Will this company be in existence after 10 years? And B. Will it make more profit after 10 years as compared to what it is making today? If the answers to these questions are in the affirmative, past experience suggests that you have found a winner. Ab Investing Simple Hair View the top performing stocks that would have created wealth for you. View our best-in-class investing ideas. Open an account with Access Direct 